Well, just discussing the card, I mean the pick six from races three and eight off air with Rael, we seem to be on different sides of the fence uh, on a few races. Uh, but uh, it's all about, you know, trying to get it uh, with uh, the minimum spend, you know, that's the way I see it. The, the lower the cost of the perm, the bigger the percentage. Or if you go the other way, the higher the cost of the perm, then you're going to take a smaller percentage. You're just not going to have to try and work it out at the start of the pick six. What do you feel the pick six could pay on the day? Personally, this pick six, I think, is worth money because uh, if a few of the fancied runners don't arrive, then it's going to pay bombs. Race number three over 1,400 meters. Let's bring up the field. And Ryle, this first leg of the pick six are battled. You know, after the scratching of the obvious horse, number 12, Raven Black, who would have been a bank, I'm sure, for many perms out there, I battled to try and narrow it down. The first time, uh, Iron Sky, you've taken down the betting. I think four to one into five to two, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's correct, yes. Yeah, I looked up the pedigree related to Valerian King, who's a sprinter. Eshan won three races in South Africa, three races in Mauritius, stayed 14 5 0. Stuart Pedigree, well, you always have to respect his horses, don't you? Stable's in excellent form. I think he could win race number two, and maybe then the guys will ask the trainer on course. So, listening to that interview, you know, if he, he got a big chance of winning race number three year. But my numbers for the pick six, and it's very difficult to try and dissect form or anything because there's re very little form to recommend. Number one, Phantom of the Forest. Number six, Burgess. And number 10, Pragmatist. I'm going to include three horses plus the first timer. So I'm going four horses here in the first leg of the pick six in numerical order, one, six, eight, and ten. One, six, eight, and ten for you, Dees. I'm going to throw in number two, Carnelo. This horse uh, does have a good draw. Gate number one, JP van der Merwe. It's possibly a nice lurker in this lineup at around 16 to 1 in the market. So, uh, numbers one, two, six, Burgess, eight, uh, Iron Sky, and number 10, Pragmatist. Those are going to be the five horses that I throw in. It's a 11 horse field, so five runners. I'm safe there. You're safe there. If I had to push you for a place accumulator bit, have you got one in your shortlist from this race? No, not in this race, yeah. But uh, it would possibly looking, be number 10. The guys 10. looking for two horses, two horses. Two horses. I'd uh, go number 10, Pragmatist, and uh, I'd throw in number 2, Canelo, a uh, nice Rafi, into the mix as well. Okay, two and tail for Ryle in the place accumulator. I'll include number 1, Phantom of the Forest. Personally, I think if he overcomes the draw with that equipment change, he's a massive runner against this field. So, numerical order, pick 6. One, two, six, eight, and ten, race number three.